Hey guys, how you doing? So this is my top 10 stocks for March 2022. And my 10th pick is Facebook. I think Facebook's taking a huge hit here. You can clearly see that in the last five years, the lowest they've been is around $123. So this is despite the fact that they've really grown. Uh, they've grown their revenues. And I believe that this is oversold. I think that we are now oversold on Facebook. You always need to mark the low, low over the last five years. So you could see it could go a little lower. There's a little bit of a gap to fill, but I think there's also a very good chance it could go a lot higher. So um, you could see the, the high point here, $383, not too long ago, last summer. And it's just trended down like really aggressively from $385 all the way down to under 200 with this focus now on changing their name to Metaverse. So they've lost a huge amount of the market cap. I do believe the Metaverse is going to be big, but the question is how much more of the market cap will Facebook lose? So I'm not saying this can't go lower. It was just at 190. We can go back to the last month and see it hit this zone here right around 191. So clearly it could go lower. It was just at 191, like not too long ago, like last week. So this would be a great entry for me if you can get under 200 for Facebook. It's a quality company, tons of money in the bank, trading right now about 13 times revenue and earnings. So I feel like it is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, could definitely go lower. But I also feel like there's a huge gap to fill. Like just in the last year, you can see here, huge, huge, huge gap to fill. If it goes back to those levels of 380, you're almost doubling your money on Facebook. So too good to pass up, too good of a quality company, too much money in the bank, too big of a database of customers and advertisers utilizing Facebook. That's why they're my number 10 pick for March 2022. Now, if we go, can we continue on here? And we continue on to our number nine pick. And I think it's important right now to look safe and look into safety and look into banks. So I've never talked about JP Morgan on the show. I really like JP Morgan. You can see this is the one year chart and you can see we're right around the bottom, right around the bottom of the one year chart. So very bullish on this. Um, I love buying stocks at 52-week lows. You can see the 52-week high is around 172. It's right now at 141. I think there's a huge gap to fill here. This is a quality bank, quality company, one of the bigger banks, and they just announced that they're getting into crypto. Look at the dividend, 2.7%. So you got a 2.7% dividend. They have just announced they got into crypto, and they're around a 52-week low. That's the trifecta for me. That's my number nine pick for March 2022. In number eight, another bank, another one I've never talked about on the show, but I really like Goldman Sachs. Been a big fan of Goldman Sachs for a long time. You can see that they're really close to this 52-week low, um, right around like the 320 mark. I guess it's been a little lower, let's say 318. Um, let, you know, at the beginning of last year, in March of last year, almost a year to the day, you can see it was at 319. Right now it's at 339. But I like to look at the high, high here, 425. So it hit a high, high of 425. It just recently hit 324, just last week, which would have been a decent entry. And I believe this is a good quality company. Once again, a quality dividend, 2.2% dividend. You're dealing with one of the largest banks in America and a huge gap to fill to go back to 52-week highs, closer to 52-week lows. So in my opinion, safe pick, safe stock, quality company, company that I'd like to buy, I'd like to own. I remember talking about and thinking about Goldman Sachs years ago when we were on YouTube and it was at $100. And now it's at 339 and I still think there's some upside. So they're my number eight pick for March, 2022 and another dividend pick in number seven. So I really think there's a lot of volatility in this market right now. And during times of volatility, you want to look at the volatility trades. So this is the VIX, V-I-X-Y, ProShares Trust VIX 
short-term futures ETF. So if the market goes down and we're having a lot of volatility right now where there's a lot of downward pressure, the VIXY is a very good trade. I've also given you um, UVXY, which has done well. I've also given you the VIX, which has done well. And you can see here, it's come down a lot because the market's been hot for the most part over the last couple of years. Uh, really, you know, since the last crisis, it's been, it's been hot. So in knowing that, you have to think that there could be a trend reversal. So the, the trend was hot and this came down, but it's come back up from these lower levels. And you can see that now it's starting to bounce off this $14 mark. So when I do these videos, it's not to tell you to buy it today. It's just to put on your radar, put on your watch list. It's up 6%. So I wouldn't be buying this today. But if you could see a dip back down to that $14 mark, that seems like a decent entry. $14 or $15 seems like a decent entry in my opinion that's where i'd be looking to enter into this trade and this would be a short-term trade i wouldn't be holding this i don't believe the market's going down long term i believe the market will always go up long term because historically that's all it's ever done so i'm always going to believe that that's going to be the trend long term but short term very good chance that we could see more volatility we are having a war right now in the ukraine with russia invading the ukraine that's affecting a lot of the markets and we're getting a lot of volatility so vixy is a volatility trade it's a way to hedge the markets if the markets go down vixy is a way to play the markets if they go down you can buy this stock and make money if the markets go down this stock goes up so vixy my number seven pick for march 2022 now in number six, I really like this company. I like them a lot when I started doing YouTube, Twitter. Um, when I started doing YouTube and in 2017, Twitter was one of my top picks. I remember it went down to $13. You can see here their five-year chart. So it's gone up and down a lot, been very volatile, did extremely well under the Trump uh, time as president in America, but has struggled since. And I think it's a quality company. I use Twitter every day. I think it's one of the best ways for anyone to just share ideas in short form, in an easy format. I think Twitter will continue to be a part of the fabric of social media, and it will always be a part of the fabric of social media. I think it's come down a little too much. I think it's a decent entry point. There's a huge gap to fill here for it to go back to its highs where it hit just last year at $81. And I feel like, you know, it's starting to come near a bottom here around that $30 mark. So if you can get Twitter around 30 bucks or lower, I really think that's going to be a good entry point to a quality company that I think has a lot of potential. And I think if they start doing share buybacks, we could see Twitter really explode. If they start getting involved more in crypto, which I believe they will, we could see them explode further. I think there's a huge gap to fill for Twitter and I really like Twitter. That's why they're my number six pick for March, 2022. Now you can see the theme here. All of these picks are quality companies. We're really not interested in anything that is not a quality company in this marketplace. There's a lot of volatility in the market. There's a lot of really good companies trading lower than I believe they should. Another one of those is PayPal. Love PayPal. You can see PayPal hit $300 twice last year. And I believe in the future, it goes back to those levels. And PayPal really hitched their wagon to Bitcoin and Bitcoin's come down and, you know, PayPal's come down with it and that's okay. I think that's a buying opportunity. You could see it just hit $95 last week. I think that would be a great entry point. If you can get PayPal at $100 or less, I really believe there's a huge gap to fill here. I think in the future, this will once again be a $300 stock. I don't know if it happens this year, but I think in the future, we will see a $300 stock again for PayPal. I really like PayPal. I think they will continue to be a leader in innovation, in payments. They're also very heavily involved in crypto and in Bitcoin, and I love that. And I love cryptos and I love Bitcoin and I love PayPal. So I believe, and I'm a holder of Bitcoin and a lot of top uh, exposure to Bitcoin and cryptos, I think that PayPal, when Bitcoin makes a move, follows it up. And I think we see PayPal back to 200 or 300 in the future, which means you could make 100 to 200% on PayPal. So really good quality company, not saying it can't go lower, anything can happen in the market, but I believe it's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And if you can get into PayPal under 100, I mean, I think it's a huge winner. I'm not owning them right now, but... If I do own them, I'll definitely let you guys know in the future. And 
our club members and our trading club always know first, especially VIP members, every single trade I make, every buy I do, every sell I do in stocks and cryptocurrencies. Next on my list, Uber. I like Uber a lot. I'm a big fan of Uber, been a big fan of Uber. I use uh, Uber Eats. I use their cars, their car service. So I think Uber needs to be on everybody's radar, on everybody's watch list. I think it's a quality company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I, I think that this is just a buying opportunity for a really good quality company. I really do. You can see the lowest they've ever been is $13. Obviously, that would be a gift. Um, but in the last, let's say, year, so we'll go to the one year, you could see the lowest they've been was just last week. It hit $29. So that was a great entry, in my opinion. And you can see the high they've been in a year is 62. So I always look at growing companies and I look at the high, high and the low, low. And I think the high, high, the previous high, high is where it's going again. I believe this will be a future $60 stock plus. I think it's a quality company. I've traded this before. I won my last trade on Uber. I fully intend to get into Uber again, just waiting for the market to settle. But I really like these prices and lower for Uber. If you can get in at 35 or lower, I think you're gonna make money on Uber. Quality company, Uber Eats allows them to, I think, just explode on a global scale. And then Uber as well, I think is also going to continue to help them explode on a global scale with their driving service. So I really believe in Uber. They're my number four pick for March 2022. And I think these prices are lower, are quality, quality entries for a quality company. Now, number three, this is one I've never talked about before, but another quality company. I'm looking for as many quality companies as possible that I can give to you guys, especially in volatile times in the market. And right now with us uh, dealing with a war right now in the Ukraine and Russia invasion of Ukraine, I really think eBay is a quality company, another company with a dividend. My number three pick for March 2022, dividend of 1.6%. You can see it just hit a low here for the year. Um, love identifying quality companies and buying them at 52 week lows. I really think that's the best way to, to trade. If you're trying to you know, build a portfolio, you wanna invest in quality companies that have resources, money in the bank and have dividends so that while you're waiting for them to grow and expand and explode, you're getting paid to hold that stock. That's really been one of my modus operandi as I grow and evolve and develop my trading strategy, my trading plan as an investor. And as I continue to grow, I'm looking for more quality companies. And I think this is the year of the $50 stocks. And I think that this is one of them, eBay, that I think can make us a lot of money. You can see here, it's been as high as $80. So not too long ago, just a couple months ago, and it's come down from $80 in October of last year to this, I think, gift price of $53.82 right now. It did hit last week a low of $49. So I think if you can get in at $49 in that range, you're doing great. Once again, quality company paying a dividend and you can't go wrong with dividend stocks because those are companies that have cash flow. That's why they're paying a dividend. Those are the best, biggest, quality, richest companies in the world. So get invested in some dividends in your portfolio, especially in times of volatility. And right now we are going through major volatility to start 2022, uh, especially because of everything that's happening on a global scale. Now let's take a look at our number two pick, which I absolutely love. And I've loved them since day one. They've always been one of my favorite picks and they've been one of the top stocks in America for the last couple of years. And that's drum roll, Tesla. I think Tesla is undervalued at these levels. Not that they're undervalued based on the revenue, but undervalued based on the potential for Tesla. You're talking about the number one electric vehicle company in the world. They had a nice dip just last week, hit $700. I was screaming the buy on Tesla in our trading group and it's bounced. It's bounced very aggressively. You can see it's been as high as just about $1,250 and it came all the way down to the $700 mark, and it's come all the way back already to 856. I just think Tesla's a quality company. They got one of the richest men in the world and Elon Musk at the helm, and I just feel like they've got a lot of tricks up their sleeves. So I think this is a quality company. Buy them on dips. I think if you can get into Tesla at 800 or less, 
If you could have got in at 700, that was an amazing entry for Tesla because I believe they will go back to 1,000, 1,200, 1,300 range. So I feel like there's a huge gap to fill here for Tesla. There's money to be made with Tesla. They've got tons of drivers of their cars. They're going to continue to be the leader, the global leader in electric vehicles. I don't see anybody coming close. And I just feel like they are the number one electric vehicle company in the world. So when you think about that and the whole world is going electric, and everybody wants to be electric by 2030. I just feel like Tesla will always be in the news. They'll always be in the headlines. And they've gone down with the price of Bitcoin. And with the price of Bitcoin going up, Tesla's going up. So, you know, Tesla's up 5% today. Bitcoin's having a nice day today. So you got to understand that, you know, Bitcoin's going to make moves. Right now, Bitcoin's at 41600 So if you believe in Bitcoin like I do, and you can see that Bitcoin has exploded, you know, over time from under a penny in 2009 to now 41,600 and Tesla goes up and down with Bitcoin because Tesla owns Bitcoin. It actually owns physical Bitcoin. So Tesla's going up and down with Bitcoin. I feel like Tesla is a quality company that has a great future and we can make a lot of money on Tesla. That's why they're my number two pick for March, 2022. I wouldn't buy them in the green. Always wait for dips, wait for red days. Uh, wouldn't chase them in the green, but if you can get them at 800 or lower or even 700 or lower, I think that's a buy for Tesla. And you can clearly see it's up today 6% now at $858. So investors are buying the dip. In number one, I have to put the number one, not because of today, but just because of what I think they're going to do. And I just feel like this is a quality company that is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed Virgin Galactic Holdings. You can see here, it's been as high as $57. And you can see for the last five years, it's had these runs where it's been as high as $60. And it's done it multiple times. So they've obviously dealt with some issues. That's why the prices come all the way down. I just feel like this is the lowest it's ever been. It did hit a low of $7. If we can get back in at $7, I see a huge multiple here. Huge, huge, huge multiple, and their flights have been stalled right now. But when they get back to their space exploration, I think you're going to see it explode again, and there's going to be a huge multiple to be made. That's why they're my number one pick for March 2022, Virgin Galactic Holdings. And I just feel like they are extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I do not have a position. I am hunting a position. I'd like to get it under 10 bucks. But if I can get it under $8, then I will be screaming by at least 1,000 shares at $8. And yeah, but that would be my entry, really. If I can get it at $8 or less, even at $7, I would be a proud owner of at least 1,000 shares. So I think that this goes to $20 in the future, maybe as high as 50 again, which it's been multiple times. So if it goes to 20 from here, it's a double. If it goes to 30, you're making 200%. If it goes to 40, you're making 300%. If it goes to 50, you're making 400%. And it hit 50 twice last year. It actually hit 60. So huge upside potential for Virgin Galactic Holdings. I don't know if it's going to happen in March. I just feel like it's going to happen in the future. And if and when it does, you're going to get a chance to win big. Thank you for watching. If you like our top 10, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're alive, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Now, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we do love to bring you winners and we love to bring them to you first. I really like our top 10. I think this is a quality top 10. I think that these picks are going to make you money. And I also believe that these are quality picks. So thank you guys for watching our top 10 picks for March, 2022. And if you'd like to learn how to trade, you can join our trading club at richpicksdaily.com where we have all of our picks right here. You can see here our top picks for the last couple of years, all public on richpicksdaily.com, 265 picks with an average peak profit of 350%. Thank you guys for watching. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out.